Well, good, uh, good day, everyone. I was going to say morning. It is morning, but uh, you might be reading, looking at this in, uh, even at night. So Neil and I are here today, and it's been a bummer year. We haven't been able to connect, and uh, so we, I've missed. Neil's missed. We've all missed you guys. But uh, we would like to take this time to, looks like we're going we're gonna to try our best to have uh, at least some of these camps, hopefully all of them. And so Neil and I would like to just uh, go over these, these camps. It's going to be a little different this year. And that's the reason why we want to kind of help you uh, identify which camps you're eligible for and what you can do. Our first camp is uh, interesting, is our beach camp, okay? Whereas before it used to be GI, but now it's going to be different. And Neil, you want to explain a little bit on that one? Yeah, so the, our beach camp this year is going to be open to any teenager ages 16 to 18, and they can have any diagnosis. So any of our chronic and life-threatening illnesses, um, any teenager 16 to 18 is going to be eligible for beach camp this year. And that'll be in Pensacola Beach, Florida. And we need to have those uh, registrations in by the end of March, don't Right, we? yeah. Because we're going to have to fly on an airplane down there this year, okay? You want to explain by the end of March? Yep, so registration will open March 1st, so go ahead and start getting registered next week. And I'll need all the beach camp campers to be registered by the end of March so I can get our names to the airlines so we can get our tickets. Yeah, remember 16 and no matter what you've got, if you're 16 and above, you're eligible for this camp. Yep. All right, now our next camp is, uh, we kind of switched things around this year. Our next camp is a, what we call, or Neil's called a connection camp, and it is for our hearts and cancer. Okay, you wanna explain that one? Yeah, so our connection series, uh, we're gonna start off with the heart and cancer kids, and that will be June 24th through 27th, at Sky Ranch Cave Springs, which is up in Northeast Oklahoma. So that's a Thursday through Sunday, and any teenager aged 13 to 18 who has a heart or cancer diagnosis will be eligible for that one. Now that's gonna be two camps in one. So our, we'll be doing a lot of things together, but then there will be breakout sessions for our heart people and a breakout session for the cancer. So you still get the individual camp experience of young people going through the same thing plus a, a mixture there, and uh, we actually it's, uh, we can do more things. It'd be about 40 kids, is that right? Yep. So, all right, so again, uh, these things are gonna be open for registration next week? Yep, March okay. 1st, we'll open up registration. All right, now our next camp is our mountain camp, and in the past that used to be only for hearts, but now this is gonna be again, uh, like our beach camp. So yep. you wanna explain that again? Yeah, just like beach camp, this one will be open to any teenager aged 16 to 18 with any chronic or life-threatening illness. So that'll be um, in Angel Fire, New Mexico, and we're gonna take a bus out there, and it'll be limited to just 20 campers. So 20 campers ages 16 to 18, any chronic or life-threatening illness. All right, the interesting thing, two things. Uh, if you go to the beach camp, you can't go to the mountain camp this year you can switch so you have to make a decision if you're age 16 and above in between the beach camp or the mountain camp right also on a mountain camp uh, we will also be going down we will be floating down the Rio Grande River which is always a big thing and we will be going over to Red River and doing some shopping and messing around there also on that camp we have four wheeling don't we you still yep. gonna have that yeah I'm hoping we'll get to do some ATV rides around Bobcat Pass um, it's a it's a fun trip and my wife says I go too fast on that four-wheeler <laughs> so uh, So it's always it's always thrilling to hear her scream a lot. All right Now our next camp is another connection camp remember our first one was heart and uh, And cancer this next connection camp is kidney by the way kidney camp our kidney camp is the oldest kidney camp in the nation 40 I lost count 40 Gee, 43 years now, okay. Kidney camp and GI, you wanna explain that one? Yeah, so this camp, um, like Danny said, is our other connections camp. So kidney and GI patients ages 13 to 18 will be eligible for this camp. And it's gonna take place here in Oklahoma City at a brand new campground called Camp Travera. 
it is right next to the zoo and so they have a zip line that they will let a zip line over a pond and then we'll get to go over to the zoo so really cool place brand new um, really cool activities to do there and it will be here in Oklahoma City so that our kidney patients will be able to run down to um, the, the dialysis unit if they need those treatments yeah it'll be nice uh, from the camp you zip over to the zoo and you go over the little lake there and uh, we got a lot of things planned for that camp also besides it's going to be deal good deal now our next camp is the big camp everyone knows about camp cabot all right yeah, yeah so camp cabot is going to be at the end of the summer again this year and those dates are august 4th through 8th and we'll be back going back to new life ranch frontier cove which is the same location we used in 2019. so it's a really big camp we can take about a little over 200 campers uh, lots of volunteers lots of nurses and any child ages 8 through 18 with any chronic or life-threatening illness will be eligible for that camp and uh, most of you know about camp cabin you've been there so or if you haven't uh, it's a great experience all kinds of things that we do there for you a lot of good stuff our last camp this year is our discovery camp this is a brand new one it is yeah, yeah so uh, we added a new camp this year just for our younger campers so uh, any camper ages 8 through 12 will be eligible for discovery camp and that'll take place also at Camp Trevera, the campground here in Oklahoma City. All right. The one thing we haven't been, not been able to do this year is our leadership camp, but uh, that's, you have, we have plans for that. We're not dropping that at all, but we'll have plans for that to come. And hopefully we can really connect again this year. I miss seeing you guys. And uh, so I look forward to seeing you again this year. And uh, we pray that we can get together and have all of these camps. I think that even if we don't have the first few, we will be able to have some in the end of the year here. So uh, keep looking at the, our website on Facebook and keep up with us and uh, register. Register the quicker the better, okay? Yep. Anything? Absolutely. Nope. CabotKids.org and find the, uh, the Camps and More page. We have a, actually have a new registration system this year, so um, just pre be prepared. It might take a little bit longer the first time you set that up, but it's a very simple process, um, and we're excited to hopefully see you this summer. Wear your mask, okay? Thank you.